Right here and welcome back to our subversion drag in Pangarnion Developer. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to discuss the uh, online hosting. Kasi yung hosting, yung server na ginawa natin dati, that's more of pang uh, local network lang. And when you're working with other people, kunwari nag thesis kayo, yung mga, ta- mga members nyo sa sari-sarili ng bahay, uh, obviously you're going to need uh, online hosting. So, syempre may mga paid hosting or kunwari may tinopa ka, may server ka at kaya mo siyang iset up. However, obviously there's also the option of finding a free uh, online server. So, for this lesson, we're going to discuss yung mga free online repositories na available sa atin. In terms of free online repositories, there's two types, yung public at yung private. Yung public, obviously, nakikita na ibang tao yung code mo. It's more for open source. Don't worry, uh, uh, lahat naman ng public hosting uh, limited kung sino mag-commit. Uh, pwede makita ng lahat, pero hindi pwede, mag- hindi pwede mag-commit yung lahat. So, point is nun is, it's more of for open source kasi everyone can look at the code. Also, uh, ang advantage rin ng public is it can help you create your own portfolio, kumbaga. Kasi uh, sa panahon ngayon, sumisikat na yun, kunwari mga, git, mga sites like GitHub, uh, where you put your code, post your code online, it's already parang, ano na eh, ina, nalalaos na yung resume. Kasi yung resume, pwede yung bulahin eh. Pero yung code... Well, pwede pa rin bulahin, pero mas mahirap bulahin kasi madali lang makita kung nangopia ka ng code. And also, uh, in addition, kung hindi mo siya binola, pag nakita ng prospective employers yung code mo, well, may kita yung code quality mo, madaling mag-gauge. Same thing, uh, uh, on, kung binaliktad natin, if you're an employer, gusto makita yung code ng tao, go to their GitHub account or whatever uh, public hosting account, may kita mo yung quality ng code. Obviously, ang downside ng public is hindi private. So, you, you can't really put your thesis there kasi baka makita na ibang tao, mapahiya ka and so on. So, yan. Dalawang options, public and private. So, we're sta- we're sta- we'll start off with uh, using a public uh, public repository. So, in this case, ang I think pinakasikat would be Google Code. Google, Co- Google provides uh, public project hosting for Uh, Subversion, Mercurial, and uh, Git. So, if you want to create a project, sign sign in lang kayo using your uh, Google account. Uh, in That can be your Gmail account or kunwari may Google Apps account kayo, gaya, gaya nito ni Alice. That's a Google account, so pwede lang gamitin yung Google code. So, in this case, just click the new project, lagay nyo yung project name nyo. It's going to have to be unique for all projects. And project summary, fill out nyo yan. Description, fill out nyo yan. And subversion. Yung sa license, wala tayong pakialam dyan unless, uh, unless kay, sisikat yung project nyo. Most likely, hindi yun. So, just pick Apache license too. So, medyo matagal yung pag-create ng project. Around 30 seconds. So, diretso lang dun tayo dun sa isang project na ginawa uh, ko kanina. So, this is a test project. So, ito yung may kita nyo pag nag-create na yung project. So, yung source nakalagay rito. If you want to view yung source, there's the browse. So, ito yung trunk. Most likely, wala pa kasi kaka-create pa lang natin. So, important rito is you have to check it out. If you want yung read only, okay lang naman na SVN check out HTTP. Pero obviously, when you're going to check something out na... Uh, you want to do changes, ito yung gagamitin nyo. Or you could just simply go for uh, Tortoise SVN. And, yun. Magkaroon yung test, drunk, ito yun. Then, syempre, ito yung obvious na kuha na niya based dun sa pangalan yung uh, yung uh, tawag mo rito, yung folder na gagawin niya. So, this is going to take a bit of time, around 20 seconds, kasi mabagal internet natin. Mm-hmm. So, you might notice, hindi pa na kinukuha yung password. 
yung password na to it's different from your password dito sa Google account. Ito yung gagamitin yung password para pang uh, pang commit. Kasi pag checkout to okay lang kasi public naman siya. Pero pag nagko-commit ka, doon na natin gagamitin yung password. So yun, natapos na okay lang. You can view yung ating uh, test. So wala pa siyang laman. Okay, tayo sa bagong text document. Me. Sa natin, ganyan na ang kalokohan. Save. Then let's commit it. Okay. So, na natin siya. Dito na natin siya i-add. Okay. So dito na papasok yung ating pangarniwan dev.org, pangarniwan org. Then, password niya is yung Google Code Password. Save authentication. And, we're done. Pag tinignan mo na yung source niya, ayun na, nakreate na si readme.txt. Actually, view the file. So, ito yung file. So, kung gusto nyo magdagdag ng additional na users, Uh, kalimutan ko na kung saan yung users dito but it shouldn't be hard to find yung uh, mga tao na pwede mo idagdag to I think dito lang yan add members, dagdag ka ng mga google accounts then uh, may google code accounts then okay na, wala nang problema pwede na silang mag commit at pwede na silang mag view ng files so yan uh, this is a public hosting yung private hosting, uh, as far as I know, pinaka, uh, pinaka advice ng mga tao for private hosting is Assembla. So, Assembla.com So, mukha tayo sa Assembla. Log. So, yun. Sign up lang kayo and log in. So, ito. Um, sige nga na password. So, this is your Assembla, Assembla login. Create a private space. Yan. Create your own space. You can create a, a private project. Meron siyang 1 gig na binibigay sa inyo. So, yan. Subversion hosting. So, yun. Just create the space. Test people. Yun. Nagawa na natin. Description. Blah. Whatever. Allow none for public access. And create the space. And... And there's there you go private repository so yun same thing pwede nyo siyang i-check out and also yung username password is the same dun sa ating ano so List, then so yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, pag mag-add kayo ng users, again, it's just here. Hanapin nyo lang yun dito sa assembla. Yan, add lang kayo ng user and whatever. So, that's it for yung uh, online hosting. There are paid hosting sites. Uh, I think Assembla is okay for paid hosting. Pero, yan, kayo na bahala. 
least you know kung ano yung pwede niyong puntahan para sa mga private and public repositories.